Good evening, it's 8 o'clock. The top headlines tonight, over 99% vote in presidential elections today. The Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman votes in a PPE, she's COVID positive. Ex-Prime Minister Manmohan Singh comes in a wheelchair. Draupadi Murmu, the NDA candidate, is all set to be India's 15th president. She will be the first tribal to become president of India. We report from how a 10 rupees college allowance at one time to now the first citizen of India set to become Draupadi Murmu. Big worry on flight safety standards. New tough rules for the aviation regulator who lays out engineering concerns saying that airlines are not properly identifying causes of defects, minimum equipment on planes and less qualified engineering staff. The aviation regulator orders changes. Now, after MLA's a plan to split Sena MPs, Chief Minister Ekhtar Shinde flies to Delhi. A Maha battle for the Shiv Sena now moves to Parliament. Thakre strikes, sacks senior leaders he suspects of rebelling. From Lassi and Atta to hospital beds, GST rates on these items from today. The opposition protests, the BGP says they were part of the decisions. The rupee now two paise away from 80 rupees to the dollar. The government says the rupee is stronger against the pound, yen and euro. Meanwhile, markets climb to a one-month high. The second case of monkeypox in India also detected in Kerala, a 31-year-old man with monkeypox in Kanur. The government orders new international travel restrictions. All international travellers will now be screened. A teen girl dies in a Tamil Nadu school, alleged suicide. Buses burnt in protest. The Madras High Court orders a second autopsy, says her father can be present. But the High Court says tough action must also be taken against the rioters. Now, all debts in educational institutions in Tamil Nadu will be probed by the CID. A vicious cycle of arrest. The Supreme Court says in Zubair FR is filed against him in Uttar Pradesh. The court orders no precipitate action against him till the Supreme Court can hear his bail case. I'm facing fresh death threats after Supreme Court remarks against me, says Nupur Sharma in a fresh appeal to the Supreme Court. She asked for relief from arrest in nine FRs filed in different states over her comments on the profit. The race for the United Kingdom Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's chances improve after the latest debate, but both he and contender Liz Truss pull out of the next Sky News debate because of increased tension. Our lead story, a tribal woman and former governor of Jharkhand, Draupadi Murmu, is all set to be India's next president. The numbers are clearly on her side after voting ended today. The results will be declared on the 21st of July. So today, across party lines, there was over 99% voting. The Prime Minister voted, Sonia Gandhi voted, uh, the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, who's COVID positive, came in a PP suit to vote. Ex-Prime Minister Manmohan Singh came in a wheelchair. But the results seem to be a foregone conclusion. Voting to choose India's 15th president in these indirect elections, where over 4,000 MPs and MLAs across the country voted on Monday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was the first person to vote in Parliament, followed by his colleagues in the Cabinet and other MPs, while MLAs voted in their respective assemblies across the country. With numbers stacked in her favour after like-minded parties, BJD and YSR Congress and also Shiv Sena and Jharkhand Mukti Morcha extended support, ruling BJP-led NDA's candidate Draupadi Murmu is all set to become the first tribal woman president of the country. मैं तो यही अपील करूंगा कि दलगत सीमाओं से भी ऊपर उठ के हम अंतर आत्मा की आवाज पर अपना वोट करें यशवंत सिन्हा हु इज कंटेस्टिंग एज द जॉइंट ऑपोजिशन कैंडिडेट अगेंस्ट द्रौपदी मुर्मू कॉल दिस एन एग्जिस्टेंशियल बैटल फॉर डेमोक्रेसी यह चुनाव मैंने बार-बार जोर देके कहा है कि बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है 
क्योंकि आने वाले दिन दिनों में ये दिशा तय करेगा कि भारत में प्रजातंत्र बचेगा या धीरे धीरे करके समाप्त हो जाएगा ऑन द सेम डे जगदीप धनकर फॉर्मर गवर्नर ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल एंड रूलिंग एनडीए कैंडिडेट फाइल्ड हिज नॉमिनेशन फॉर द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट पोल्स भारत के लोकतंत्र के लिए ये एक मेजर माइलस्टोन मानता हूं कि साधारण किसान का बेटा आज नॉमिनेशन कर कर आया है मैं माननीय प्रधानमंत्री का कर्तव्य हूं लीडरशिप का कर्तव्य हूं कि उन्होंने मुझे यह सु अवसर दिया Well the opposition parties have jointly announced Margaret Alva as their candidate for the vice president polls TMC which played an active role in naming Yashwant Sinha for the presidential elections is tight lipped on its support for Margaret Alva party sources say that the decision whether to support Alva will be taken in the meeting on July 21st with camera person Ashwini Mehra this is Arvind Gunasekhar for NDTV and draupadi murmu's uh, nomination and election is being watched across the country but perhaps nowhere as closely as her own village in orisha draupadi murmu is the first woman to have actually graduated from college from this village in fact at that time her parents could only give her 10 rupees a month as a college allowance today she is likely to become now the first citizen of india <laughs> on the border of orissa and jharkhand mayurbhanj district 80% of the population here are tribals and the santhals the community from which draupadi murmu hails is the dominant group draupadi murmu's journey from what used to be this backward tribal belt to raisina hill has not been an easy one her small village of upparbeda was only recently completely electrified She became the first woman to leave her village for Bhubaneswar to get a college degree. Her parents could afford to give her only 10 rupees a month while she studied. Some of that struggle and simplicity reflected in her five-room house in Rai Rangpur. Built by her husband in the 19s, this modest dwelling is where she continues to live. Desh ka ek number nagarik hone ja raha humko itna khush lagta hai मतलब हम भी मतलब ये ये नहीं कर सकता हूँ कि कितना खुश हूँ करके द्रौपदी मुर्मूर्स पर्सनल लाइफ हैज बिन स्ट्रक बाय ट्रेजिडी शी लॉस्ट हर टू सन्स एंड हर हसबेंड इन द विलेज ऑफ पहाड़पुर शी बिल्ट अ स्कूल इन देर मेमोरी मतलब जो गरीब लोग हैं टाउन नहीं जा सकते हैं पढ़ाने तो इसी चलते मैडम यहाँ बोले कि नहीं यहाँ स्कूल रेसिडेंशियल स्कूल बनाएंगे क्योंकि गरीब बच्चे यहाँ पढ़ सकते हैं इन पहाड़पुर नाउ द्रौपदी मुर्मूज होम द वुमेन आर एक्साइटेड हर पॉलिटिकल जर्नी हैज गिवन देम अ सेंस ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट लड़कियाँ जाती है क्या यहाँ से पढ़ने के लिए हाँ जाती है साइकिल पे जाती है पढ़ने के लिए आने जाने के लिए स्कूल गार्डन व्यवस्था हो जाएगी तो सुविधा होंगे The school in this village is only up to class A. For further studies, the children have to go three to four kilometers away. The nearest health center is also four kilometers away, and drinking water is a problem. Amo gaare jodi gute medical rahi ba, ta hala setai bhot suvidha hai bo. Aao eight class toh toh achi, kintu nine ten aao college por janto gaare gute rahele education pane sabtu bhala hai bo. Draupadi Murmu is positioned to become the first citizen of this country and her elevation carries immense symbolism for this tribal belt for the adivasi population that existed on the fringes of society it's now time to take center stage in draupadi murmu's village with camera person gauri prasad harsha kumari singh ndtv What a wonderful inspirational story there of Draupadi Murmu. Meanwhile, moving to the breaking news coming in, and Vishnu has more details on that. So, Vishnu, all the stories we are seeing about flight safety, there is some 
basis to the fact that we the airlines need to actually be much much more careful in fact not just one or two airlines pretty much all of them this actually sonia is an order it was passed by the aviation regulator the director general of civil aviation today this comes on the back of several instances being reported of engineering lapses on various airlines which resulted for example in precautionary landings in karachi of two airlines but let's tell you what exactly this particular order says now the dgca says that there have been reports of increasing engineering related occurrences in scheduled airlines in recent times which is why they conducted spot checks now what have these spot checks indicated an improper identification of causes of reported defects that's one of the problems another problem is airlines flying with an mel or minimum working equipment on board now this is important it's not illegal for an airline to actually do this but ideal because they are redundant systems so if one fails there's always another one but ideally you should be having everything working and the dgca says look that's what you need to do um non availability availability of required certifying staff now this is also an important point which essentially means this when an aircraft is operating at a certain base or it is operating during transit there have to be engineers of a particular standard and seniority who clear flights for operations airlines can actually make do on a one off clearance for someone junior the dgca the regulator says don't do that at all and please implement these orders by the 28th of july so one way or the other very serious guidelines for our airlines thanks uh, vishnu so uh, hopefully with the aviation regulator the aviation minister stepping in the airlines are going to take this seriously thanks so much uh, for those details let's just go across to what's another developing story the maharashtra chief minister eknath shinde will travel to delhi tonight sources have told ndtv that he is now looking at leading a possible rebellion of shiv sena mps during the current monsoon session of parliament which began today two mps are openly already in his camp this of course includes his son and also bhavna gauli who's recently replaced as uh, or the leader of the sena in the in parliament all recently however all mps except these two had actually attended a meeting in mumbai at uddhav thakre's residence matushri also decided with the second round of meetings of maharashtra cabinet formation which will take place in delhi the meanwhile uddhav thakre has sacked several senior shiv sena leaders to actually stop any rebellion let's see that actually works here's what sanjay raut uh, uddhav thakre loyalist had to say आप कहाँ के शिवसेना बन गए हो ठीक है आपका एक अलग गुट हो सकता है अब बाहर निकले आप अपने गुट की राजनीति कर लीजिए शिवसेना से पंगा मत लीजिए So let's see how that unfolds. Meanwhile, the big focus today was on the new goods and service tax coming in on new items. So many of these include food basics, packaged items like lassi, dahi, paneer, rice, wheat, atta, gur, honey, papar, meat, fish will all now have a goods and service tax. Also now taxes on hospital rooms. So for instance, hospital rooms which are under 5000 per day will have 0 to 5% tax. hospital rooms above that can have from 0% to 12% ironically hospital rooms will have more gst than diamonds on bank checks as well you'll now have gst from 0 to 18% so the opposition is protesting saying that the aam aadmi is going to be hit even more with these new gst rates on food items given high inflation but the bjp says that opposition ministers finance ministers were part of the gst council which took these decisions Whether you eat the staple rice and wheat or the healthier options like barley and oats you will pay 5% more from today curd lassi buttermilk paneer even jaggery and honey will cost 5% more with all these everyday items brought under GST आप अगर 4000 का राशन आप महीने में खरीद रहे हो उसमें से 5 परसेंट ही भर जाए आपका टू हंड्रेड रुपीज़ का इन्फ्लेट हो जाए तो वो इन्फ्लेशन कहीं ना कहीं से तो निकलेगी बट एक मिडिल क्लास की तो पॉकेट कटती ही है एट दिस किराना शॉप इन भोपाल बोथ द शॉप ओनर एंड कस्टमर्स आर अनहैप्पी पैक आइटम है पाँच बजे जी शुरू होगा एक, एक तरफ महंगाई वैसे ही हो दूसरी तरफ महंगाई और बढ़ा रही गवर्नमेंट तो, तो और, और ज़्यादा फिर ग्राहकों में ग्राहकी में कमजोरी होगी ऑलरेडी सब्जी फ्रूट्स इतने महंगे हैं तो एक आम इंसान के लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट है सरवाइव करना एक पर्टिकुलर सैलरी में फॉर दो क्यूंग टू पे हॉस्पिटल स्टे बिल्स न्यू जी एस टी ऑफ फाइव परसेंट ऑन हॉस्पिटल बेड दैट कॉस्ट फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड मोर आई सी यू बेड आर एग्जैक्ट
especially from the GST from the hospitals. Don't charge. Think in an innovative way to help people who come to hospital how to serve. You should try to uh, improve the rules in insurance department to help the people. Hospitals have appealed to the government not to impose such a tax. This is the additional cost for the patients. Uh, as a hospital, we have to collect this additional amount from the patients and deposit with the uh, government. So it will be an additional cost for the patients. Various forums we are taking with the governments to remove this additional levy right now. And then we hope that it will be reversed shortly. The government should consider to keep these type of essential things which are like health. And if we are paying from our pocket and we are paying other taxes, indirect taxes, I think such type of services could be uh, exempted. There could be other areas uh, like, uh, you know, cigarettes or other places where they could or, 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 or they could take those money or from liquor somewhere other divisions and they could compensate for the shortfall, not from uh, hospital beds. 5% GST will now be levied on this prepackaged but unbranded dal and many such items. Well, the GST hike on essential commodities, not just these daily staples but many such essential commodities, will have serious implications on the common man's budget. The GST hike comes at a difficult time when consumers are already reeling under inflationary pressures. The camera person Pooja Arya, Vidanta Nepal, Fendi TV. And in other news, the rupee is just two paise away from 80 rupees to the dollar, but some good news for the markets. Uh, Priyanshi, over to you. Sunya, gone are the days when we'd mentally calculate a dollar price with 70 to get the rupee price. Now we should get habitual to multiplying it with 80. Rupee is now just two paise away from hitting that key level of 80 per dollar. Today, our currency weakened to a new low of 79.98 per dollar. The government in the parliament said that the outflow of foreign funds and global factors such as the war in Ukraine are dragging the rupee down. It said that the Reserve Bank is regularly more monitoring the market and it's intervening to control the rupee slump. But rupee is still continuing its free fall even though the Reserve Bank is introducing policies, even though it's selling dollars to increase its supply to bring down the dollar's rate. This is in fact led to our forex reserves going down to a 15-month low, down by 8% in just the last six months. But the government says that it's not all bad news. While rupee depreciated against dollar, it has appreciated against the pound, yen and euro. Rupee is 8% down against the dollar just this year but it's 11 percent up against yen around five percent up against pound and euro so it might be a good idea to travel to europe or japan at this time but uh, jokes aside it's still a bad news for the econ economy at large most of our imports are paid for in dollars and more expensive uh, imports could further increase inflation for all of us but there's also some good news uh, today stock market surged to their one month high they gained over 1.4%. Sensex gained 760 points, ended at 54,521. Nifty gained 229 points to end at 16,278. Indian markets surged following their global peers, a 1% rise in US retail sales in June, and a rise in consumer sentiment in the United States cooled down fears of a 100 basis point Fed rate hike and boosted markets globally. So both bad news and good news from the markets today. Sonia. Thanks so much, Priyanshi. And let's just go across the other story we are tracking. So there's now a second case of monkeypox in India. The second case has also been reported in Kerala. A 31-year-old man arrived from Dubai. He's stable and being treated in his hometown of Kanur. The contacts of the patient are being kept under observation. After the second case has been reported, airports have now been advised to ensure a strict health screening of all international travellers. The first case of monkeypox was detected on the 14th of July in Tiruvannantapuram. The main symptoms include rashes, blisters and sores. It spreads through direct contact with body fluids of an infected person, but it can also spread through respiratory secretions and during prolonged face-to-face -face contact. Touching items or linens that previously touched in the infectious rash of body fluids will also spread it. However, asymptomatic people cannot spread the virus to others. You can also contract money, monkey pox by being bitten or scratched by infected animals or by the meat of an infected animal. It usually lasts two to four weeks and mort uh, fatalities are rare. 
The big story coming out of Tamil Nadu is the tragic death of a young girl in her teens. She allegedly jumped to her death from her uh, school building because she's being harassed by her teachers over academics. That's what the note she left has said. The police have now arrested teachers from her school and the Madras High Court has ordered a second autopsy. But the High Court also cracked down on rioting that took place on Sunday in, the ho in her home district as buses were burnt and police attacked. <laughs> Ten school buses torched. Fifty cops injured in stone pelting. After riots broke out in Tamil Nadu over the alleged death by suicide of a class 12 girl. The Madras High Court has ordered a repeat autopsy after the family alleged foul play. The court has also directed the police to crack down on rioters and also said that in the future all deaths in educational institutions should be investigated by the CID wing of the crime branch. Okay. மாறாக நடக்கும் எந்த செயல்களாக இருந்தாலும் அவர்கள் சட்டத்தை முன்னிறுத்தப்பட்டு தண்டிக்கப்படுவார்கள் என எச்சரிக்கிறேன் இந்த சோகமான சூழலை பயன்படுத்திக் கொண்டு சிலர் சேர்ந்து in her suicide note the girl has blamed teachers for humiliating her over her academic performance the police have arrested the school principal and two others two teachers have also been detained along with over 100 suspects who have been arrested for rioting the opposition meanwhile has questioned why the police had taken no action five days after the death. A tragic end to a young life on a school campus. Well, this is the first riot under the present DMQ regime. It could dent the image of brand Tamil Nadu. A wake-up call amid criticism of an intelligence failure. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel. The, TV. the tragic death of a young girl there. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court today ordered that there should be no precipitate police action in Uttar Pradesh against Alt News co-founder and fact-checker journalist Mohammed Zubair to July 20th in the five FIRs that have been registered against him by the UP police. This is when the Supreme Court will next hear the case. They've also issued a notice to the UP government. The Supreme Court, Justice Chandrachud, today talked about the vicious cycle of arrest which Zubair is facing and whether he gets interim bail in one case and is then arrested in another case. Also coming up in the Supreme Court, Nupur Sharma today has filed a fresh appeal saying there's a threat to her life after Supreme Court criticism of her recently. She seeks a stay now in a fresh appeal on her arrest. Nine FRs have been filed against her in different states. Nupur Sharma said there's a renewed threat against her after unexpected strong criticism by the Supreme Court. She cited a threat to life and various rape threats she's facing urging the court to club all the other nine FRs with the Delhi case. The Supreme Court had earlier refused to grant relief to Nupur Sharma, saying she is single-handedly responsible for what's happening in the country and should apologize. Well, moving now to the latest in the United Kingdom race for Prime Minister. So, the current contenders, well, let's just look at who's left in the race and how Rishi Sunak seems to be emerging as the number one in that. Let's just look at those numbers coming up now. So, what are Rishi Sunak's chances now? They seem to be improving with every debate. That means if he's elected, he could be Britain's first Prime Minister of Indian origin to become Prime Minister. After the second debate over the weekend, he is now the clear favourite by taking a big 8-9% to lead over his closest competitor, Penny Mordaunt, the former Defence Secretary. She was the big favourite before the debates began last week with Rishi at third place. 
Liz Truss, Boris Johnson's foreign, secret foreign secretary, is now trailing at third place, although she got a big boost at the second debate, with her chances rising more sharply than Rishi Sunak's. There's about a 15-point gap between them. The question is, can Sunak maintain his lead? The next party vote is today. Rishi Sunak topped the first two, but tomorrow's TV debate, the third, has been cancelled after both Rishi and Trust said they won't participate, apparently because of the sharp differences being exposed in the Conservative Party through these debates. There will be two more rounds of voting and then the top two candidates will face off for the next few weeks. The winner will be chosen after a postal ballot of Conservative workers and announced on the 5th of September.